Hi, welcome to the Creative Treehouse. My name is Robin Broom and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Thanks for joining me in the treehouse today. Well, yesterday I had a whole lot of fun trying out a new technique. And actually I was supposed to be doing other things and so I called it my frivolous artistic diversion and um, also coined by a fellow demonstrator as fad. And so yes, I was being very faddish and <laughs> I wanted to try out the alcohol ink technique with the vellum. That is all the rage. It's quite a fad. And so instead of uh, preparing for my class like I should have been, I was playing and it was uh, so much fun and I was just so excited. Anyway, I put it on my blog, but that was not quite enough. So some people, it, and I can understand that just the, the written directions are not as good as seeing the real thing. So I'm going to show you the real thing. And here are three cards that just kind of popped out. I was just so, so, so excited. And I'm going to show you how I did it. And hopefully it'll work the fourth time. We'll find out. So the things that you'll need if you want to make it just exactly like I did is you're going to start with a piece of vellum. And the vellum is going to be uh, four and seven eighths by four. And we're actually going to cut off a three eighths of an inch off of it so that it will be the inside of one of the cards. Let me show you what I mean. It's going to go here on the inside of your card. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut off just, just a little tiny portion of it. Okay, and all of these cards were going landscape. If you wanted to, to make it be portrait, you'd have, you might want to cut it a different direction. So that is that. So we've got our vellum that we're going to trim down after we use it. We're also going to use just a regular, this is Knight of Navy that was five, um, scored at four and a quarter. So it's uh, the five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I had two pieces of old olive. And the smaller one is the inside. The larger one is cut at five and one sixteenth by three and th thirteen sixteenths. I know that's kind of odd measurement. It's just how it worked out. And then the inside piece is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. So, and then you'll end up with the pear pizzazz, although it's a lighter color, actually worked best for the sentiment. And here on this one, I have. Um, heat embossed it. It was it's old navy, knight of navy, old navy. Oh my goodness, <laughs> knight of navy, um, and embossed. So it's it's got sort of um, the the shimmer to it. And I had originally thought I was going to use dies on die cuts and stuff on it, but I just loved the the colors and the pattern so much that I decided not to do that. I also had some gold embellishments that I put on there. Okay. Let's see if we can recreate and I can show you exactly how I did it. I'm going to cover up my work surface because we are going to be spraying. Let me get this centered so you can see it better. Okay, is that sort of centered? Not exactly. There we get better. Okay, so there we go. All right, let, there's our little piece of vellum and we you do need alcohol and this is the one that i used is 91 percent and you do need it to be i think a 90 and above if it's not 90 and above it just won't um, do its magic thing okay so the first thing i did was i used the stampin blends and it's very important to note that you do need alcohol ink. If it's not alcohol ink, it will not work. And the Stampin' Blends, of course, are alcohol markers. Now, I use my favorite colors are blue and green, so I used the Old Olive, the Knight of Navy, and I used Mango Melody, and they're all in the dark. You know, they come in light and dark, and I use the dark for each of these. So now, there is no science behind what's about to happen. You just take one, and I use the, the larger end, the brush tip, and you just make squiggles, um, just kind of blocks of squiggles like that. And it does not matter where they go. And I'm going to actually go off of it um, just all over the place. So, and then you can go back and fill in more. You can just make it as however you would like it to be. And I'll go back with some of that in a, just a minute. All right, let's do some green. And you don't really, really want to run into them to the different ones, to the other colors. You want to get close though, but not, don't run into them. Let's see, and I, like I said, it really, it really totally does not matter where they go. And you can make them big or little or what have you. And I'll just go back 
and just experiment and have fun. This is definitely a play, have fun activity. And it, it happens fairly fast. And you just end up with lots of really, really cool creations. Every one of them is very individual. They're not going to be the same. And that just kind of makes it even more fun. All right, let's see what I, what I need. Let's do a little more yellow right in here. Like I said, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to go back with the blue. You're just going to make some squiggles, okay? And pretty much off the, the thing. So there's a little bit of white space, but not very much. Okay, now you've squiggled it up. I don't know if that's a technical term. I don't believe it is. Okay, so now is when the magic happens. All right, we're going to take our, I put it in a, the spritzer, the Stampin' Up! spritzer, and it, I filled it up with the, the alcohol. Of course, you, be sure that you it's freshly filled or otherwise it's going to evaporate. Same thing, reasons that you need to really close your markers up tightly because they will dry out or evaporate. Okay, so I'm going to take it and I'm just going to squirt it. Okay, and I'm going to squirt it just a little, a little ways above. My, and I'm just going to squirt all, all around like that and you can start to see it happen. And that's kind of cool and how it gets all smeared and dotted and everything. And then what I did, that's quite a bit of the alcohol on it, is I carefully lifted it up and I want to make sure that it goes everywhere. And so I kind of played with it and I just let it let it go like this and see if I can get it where it won't be shiny. Just watch those colors just kind of ooze and go everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to just turn it around, just like I want this green to go in here, but you don't want them to all just go completely everywhere. So, oh, it's just so much fun. So much fun. Okay. And then it'll get onto the edges. And you can take a, like a, a brush and make it go, like move the edges and whatever. So this one is actually going to be a fairly smooth one. I know some people like it smooth, some people like all the dots and things like that. Okay, this one did not make a lot of, okay, we can just kind of watch it, watch it just kind of merge. Oh, isn't that cool? Can you see it's kind of a slow process? It's just, oh, it's just so cool. Okay, and like I said, none of, none of them are going to be the same. And it's a little bit messy, you see my ink, but that's okay. All right, and so I didn't get, um, I, you can go back, like I'm going to go back now and I'm going to, I haven't, I haven't, I don't think it's a problem to go back because I did that on one of them one time. I'm going to go back and where there's some more extra white space, I'm going to give it a little bit more and then I'm going to squirt it up a, some more. Let's do, so I'm going to get those white spaces just a little bit better okay but have no fear we should we should be able to squirt it again this time I'm going to squirt more directionally just at these spots there we go ah that looks great okay fun 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 okay I'm gonna let it wiggle just a little bit it just depends on the look that you want. Now, if I didn't wiggle it, uh, it at all, you would get more of the dots. And if I wiggled it a lot, the most wiggling is going to make it be extra smooth. So it just depends on what you like. I think I actually like kind of a combination. So there you go. All right, and we can leave that to dry if you like the look of it. And it's gonna look about the same when you when you let it dry. Um, yes, they will curl, okay? Um, like a kind of, like a scroll, they will curl. You can, while it's drying, you can kind of lay something on it. Um, and you can also use your, your heat tool and, and work on heating it. You can heat it from both sides. Just be careful because it is vellum. You don't want to get um, too much too much heat on it. Um, but anyway, that's basically what it's gonna look like. And let me see if I can, without coloring everything up in the world I'm going to set this on here and just show you and you I tried different things you can a lot of people are using the white um, let me move this top paper towel out of the way okay so that's basically with the paper towel you can kind of see what it what it would look like with a white background it's perfectly fine and I happen to like because it just brought out different colors I liked this one the best so 
and yes it, this one is just a little bit wider because we're going to we would cut that off three eighths of an inch so that it would go on to our inside for our inside strip so that is it that's it that's how it's done and again we're gonna it's gonna take it doesn't take a whole lot of time to dry so that's another fun thing is that the card can come together pretty quickly so i think i'll just leave it there and hopefully that showed you enough of how it works and um use other colors i'm anxious to use other colors but so far these have been my favorite just because they're my favorite colors to begin with the blues and greens so um there it is that's how i did it and I would love for you to leave a comment and tell me what you think and which one is your favorite and why. And um, if you experiment with one something, send me a, a picture. I'd love to see that too. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. And you, if you need a demonstrator, I would love it if you would um, buy your your supplies from me and you can find me at the creative tree house so thanks so much for joining me today and i'm just so excited about this fun project and i hope you are too and we'll see you next time in the tree house bye bye